Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Higgins, and I want to thank you for joining us as we explore the work of our pulmonary and thoracic surgery experts. I'd like to begin by first welcoming Dr. Rafael Bueno, Chief of the Division of Thoracic and Cardiac Surgery. So, Dr. Bueno, can you tell us more about the recently launched clinical trial on a device that allows surgeons to perform single port thymectomy and how this approach differs from traditional thymectomy procedures in the past? Thank you, Dr. Higgins. Uh, so, what thoracic surgery uh, is, is operating inside the chest, and that can cause discomfort. And one of our research focuses is to improve the patient experience and decrease pain uh, from thoracic surgery. Uh, and we have specialists in robotic surgery uh, who can put together innovative devices in the chest through multiple small incisions. And we have experts in uniportal surgery that can do the operation through a single port. So when there was a possibility of testing a new device that can allow us to do the robotic surgery from a single port, we felt that we had a great opportunity uh, to do a clinical trial about the safety and efficacy of this device. Great, so what outcomes will the trial examine and why is it important for us to conduct clinical trials like this one? The purpose of this trial is to determine whether uh, using a new robot for surgery through one little incision just outside the chest is safe, whether it could be done effectively and give us good surgical and medical results, and whether this improves the patient experience uh, during and after surgery. So I think it's important to know all those things before you release this technology to the world. Uh, and with our expertise and our experience at the Brigham, we were chosen as the lead site to do that. Well, Dr. Bueno, you have two guests that are trailblazers in this field, and we're lucky to have their unique perspectives on the single port thymectomy, as you've described. Maybe you can introduce them and uh, share a bit about their backgrounds with us. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, Dr. Blair Marshall uh, is a senior member of our division. She, she is a gifted and experienced uh, robotic surgeon with a lot of uh, expertise and innovation. So she was a clear uh, candidate for running the trial. And Dr. Paula Ugaldi is also a senior thoracic surgeon, and she is an international expert in uniportal thoracic surgery, which is doing the surgery through one port, a minimal size, to improve the patient experience. So marrying uh, those skills from those two amazing surgeons uh, seemed like an obvious solution for this particular device. Well, that's great. So we're really lucky to have you, Dr. Marshall. And maybe there's a unique patient story that you can share with us that illustrates the impact of this procedure and the use of this technology and how it has an impact on patients' lives. And maybe you can tell us more about that. Sure. Thank you, Bob. Actually, the first patient in the United States to undergo this procedure was actually a nurse at the Brigham. And she found out about the trial because she was riding the elevator with Dr. Bueno, who was talking to someone else. She had needed this operation for a long time and had been avoiding it until she heard about the new way it could be performed. And so he sent her my way. And I guess they say the rest is history. <laughs> but she was able to even go on vacation with her family two weeks after, and she has four young children at home. And so just having that operation done that way allowed her to fully recover and participate in the family holiday. That's a heartwarming story. Thanks for sharing it. So Dr. Ugalde, maybe you can tell us about the use of the SP thymectomy and how it impacts the results in recovery for patients like this. Thank you for your question. As it was already alluded by Dr. Bueno, one of the principles of combining robotic surgery um, as an advanced technology to this procedure is that it allows us to have an excellent visualization of the thoracic cavity. What's special about this procedure is that we're performing the incision outside of the chest. 
I don't know if you're aware, but any thoracic incision causes severe pain, or might cause severe pain to our patients is because it goes through the intercostal space. Putting the incision in the abdomen most likely will decrease you know, the, the uh, pain post-operatively. So like Dr. Marshall mentioned, patients will recover faster and will go back to their lives, their routine. Wow, that's really fantastic. So both Dr. Marshall and Dr. Ugaldi, as you know, women in thoracic surgery are underrepresented. So how has your group of women inspired others in the field of innovation in thoracic surgery? I think when you're going through your training, you don't know what you want to do unless you see other people that you can identify with doing what you want to envision for your future. And so having Paula and I here allows all of our younger trainees to see two successful women really doing a great job as thoracic surgeons at the Brigham. Yeah, and you know, I must say I'm, I'm very proud to represent also the international community. I myself am not American and just having the privilege to join this team, I believe that that gives a lot of inspiration to younger uh, women outside of this country. Well, we certainly agree. You both are an inspiration and role models for young surgeons and particularly women who are underrepresented in our field. So we're really proud to have you here and appreciate your leadership and innovation in the field of thoracic surgery. Congratulations to all of you and of course, Dr. Bueno for your leadership in that regard. So thank you. Thank you for listening to our conversation highlighting the important and innovative research ongoing in pulmonary and thoracic surgery divisions. To learn more, please visit our website, discoverbrigham.org. Thank you, Dr. Bueno, Dr. Ugalde, and Dr. Marshall for joining us today.